Also on CBS this weekend, Jeopardy host Alex Trebek will talk about his battle against stage 4 pancreatic cancer with Jane Pauley on CBS Sunday morning. It is the third leading cause of cancer deaths in this country behind colorectal and lung cancer. Dr. John LaPook has more on new approaches to fight it. That's a good one, too. 69-year-old Bruce Toma <laughs> is making plans for traveling and sprucing up his house. It would be like all flowers. That's a far cry from the fall of 2017 when he was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. I was violently sick. I was losing weight terribly at what I could eat, I couldn't keep down, or it would just pass right through me. Toma faced a grim prognosis. The pancreas is a gland located deep in the abdomen between the stomach and the spine. When cancer develops, symptoms tend to be vague, and diagnosis often comes after the cancer has already spread beyond the pancreas. For the past decade, Dr. Elizabeth Jaffe of the Kimmel Cancer Center at Johns Hopkins has been bringing cutting-edge technology to the fight, a vaccine that teaches the body's immune cells, called T-cells, to recognize and attack the cancer. What it can do is very efficiently deliver the protein, the pancreatic cancer protein, to the immune system and say, hey, T-cells, recognize me. After chemo, radiation, and surgery were unsuccessful, Toma joined the vaccine trial last summer. So far, he's doing well. This was taken in July. Now you fast forward to February. This is where it should have been, and it's totally clean. My body has come back, and the tissue has come back. Yeah, I feel really good. As researchers continue to look for better ways of treating pancreatic cancer, they're also trying to figure out better ways of picking it up earlier before it has spread. This is something that we would want to follow in a high-risk patient. Dr. Diane Simeone heads the Pancreatic Cancer Center at NYU Langone Health in New York. Her mission, early diagnosis of a disease with few symptoms. She's been screening people at high risk. I can imagine there are people out there watching her thinking, well, I'm not at high risk, but let me just get tested. We really don't want to have people just uh, getting testing uh, willy-nilly. But we do want to focus on people who have two or more family members with pancreas cancer or people who might have a mutation that might put them at higher risk. It's early days for this type of testing and for the new vaccine treatment. But researchers are hopeful the odds can finally improve for this deadly disease. Dr. John LaPook, CBS News, New York.